guys, I hope you're all doing well. This is our quarantine day 12, so we are nearing the end of it. And not gonna lie, it's been much easier than I thought it would be. A lot of people are going stir crazy, but honestly for us, it's very normal because we always work at home. We're always with the girls, we're always with each other, so it didn't change much. The only difference is not seeing family is kind of hard and that's gonna go on for a few more weeks after we are done being in quarantine just because you know we still have to eliminate all social outings we can't even see any people for a very long time so that's gonna be a bit different but honestly um i, I just can't wait to take the girls on longer walks i feel like they're really pent up and they need more exercise speaking of they're not here with me right now because they are at the office with kim we are trying to entertain them and make them do different things. So Kim came over this morning to take them. And so they're going to be spending a bit of time at the office. So today I wanted to talk to you about adult coloring books. And I've had this adult coloring book for a little bit, but I recently received these pencils that I ordered on Amazon. And these are such a blast from the past. I remember being in grade school elementary school and having these pencils and they're honestly the best pencils ever okay i do have a, a problem with starting these kind of coloring things and not finishing them it takes forever but i'm always so excited to start them and it takes forever to finish them so um the first time i started these adult coloring books was actually when i was still a lawyer and every time i would get on a call with a client i would start coloring while listening to the call I don't know if that's super professional to do that, but you know, instead of just listening, I would listen and color. But uh, so I started again recently with my new pencils and it's so much fun. I love these pencils so much. If you have any recommendations of must try coloring books or your go-to markers that you like to color with, leave them below. I always like to know about that. Okay, in other news, I have gotten the graphics for the um, for our charity t-shirts. So for our, our campaign, hashtag stronger together, hashtag ça va bien aller. I just received the graphics from the artist. So I'm currently working on listings. Let me show you what they look like. So here they are. This is the stronger together. It's gonna look like this in English. How unbelievably cute, right? If you recognize this little face, it's the face that we have on our embroidered Cavalier t-shirts. But all these will be on a white t-shirt, either in French or in English. And 100% of proceeds of these t-shirts are going to charity either. So if you are interested in helping out during this pandemic situation, I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can shop one of these t-shirts. And again, I'm not making any money. The artist did not make any money on these t-shirts. Basically, um, aside from the cost of the t-shirt, 100% of proceeds go to charity. All right, we got our groceries and this has all been sanitized and washed. Are you happy we got all the foods? My fear is to run out of toilet paper. My fear is to run out of food. So I'm much more relieved about that. Paper, we got tissue paper, we got um, paper towels, toilet paper. All the fruits and veg that have been soaked. Asparagus are soaking. The girls want to go outside. They just went outside. I know. Oh, the girls are pooped ever since they came back from the office and from a walk with the neighbor. Look at her key. She's just hanging off the couch here, spying on what we're doing. Because she knows I'm about to make some food. So she's just looking. And I'm just looking. Andy's about to go clean the windows. I'm about to go make some food. And I'm very excited today because I'm making French onion soup for the first time. When we came back from LA, my mom and Andy's mom and Kim had bought us some onions. So I have so much onions. I was like, what am I gonna do with all these onions? And then it just occurred to me that I could make French onion soup with all these onions. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All the onions.
All right, so dinner is ready. We got some toasted bread with Gruyere cheese, French onion soup. There's another way of doing this soup, which uh, you put it directly in the oven in an oven safe, oven proof bowl to make it melt. But I didn't have any, so that's why I did the bread and the cheese on the side. Then we have a side of Brussels and chickpeas. <laughs> Yum. Really exciting. Did you guys see how many onions went on this? It's crazy. It smells very sweet. Mm. It's so warming and soothing to the throat. Hi guys, so we are back because something arised yesterday and we wanted to take the time and address it. It's you that discovered it yesterday. We were in bed and then I was reading through the YouTube comments like I usually do before bedtime, just for fun. And usually hate comments, we'll kind of read it, we'll go through it, laugh a bit, get mad, pass through it. But this comment was so long and it was so detailed and so wrong, wrong, wrong that I lost sleep for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> I was like really upset for like 20 minutes. Then right. I lost like 10 minutes sleep. Super upset. Yeah. I'm still upset today. It makes no sense as a comment. Okay. We'll read it out to you guys, but we just wanted to remind you guys that there's no time and place ever to be mean and to be nasty, especially to somebody you don't know online. You've never met me. Uh, but the person was not even me. They were just co completely confused. That's the that's what kept me up. Like the person got angry out of like nothingness. her own confusion. I know. Like okay, let's read the comment and then and, and then we can explain. We gotta build it up. You guys excited about to hear the comment? Milton is very excited that she's clawing everything. We you can't hold her. We can't hold Milton. You'll see why. Okay. Or you can do the honors, but don't. We'll spare the person their name, okay? At least. But I'm just gonna say it's easy to find this comment. Which date? It, it was the day that Milton... <laughs> Milton bullied Herky again. Oh, that's like every day, man. Let's just clarify something. Milton bullies Herky all the time. But it's just because we're vlogging every day now that you guys see about it and that you guys hear about it so often. Honestly, she bullies Herky like once every week. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it. This person says, It's so sad how you treat Milton. You guys clearly show favoritism towards Herky. You have the best dog on YouTube, but I can't stand to watch your videos because you barely give Milton any love. Huh? You talk down to her too. Dogs pick up on that energy and makes them act out. It is your job as the owner to train them and give them love. This is so sad to watch. If you don't love Milton, you should give her to someone who will care for her. You didn't even touch Milton when you closed the vlog. That is disgusting. disgusting. I'm going to insert that face where Donald Trump goes like... And this person goes on. There's so many comments. And by the way, this person went on to comment onto other people's comments too on that oh, video. Shit. Like she just went on and on. Tell us more, Mai. The other comment below this comment, she says... And you had the nerve to put, can you get rid of her now in one of the thought bubbles? That's disgusting. If you guys were in Herky's head, you guys would understand. Clearly this person has never watched more than one video to judge. How many times did I tell my mom I wanted to kill my little brother? Or did I tell him that, that I do it? No. Okay, and then this person goes on. If you can't handle the responsibilities of being a pet owner, training and giving love, then you should give your pet to someone else who can. Maybe I'll give it to you. Milton would probably be glad if you got rid of her. She doesn't get any love from you guys anyways. Look, Milton is miserable here, okay? She gets no love. Like we never pet her. She we never just spend, down on her. She never spends any time with me. Milton. She never naps with us. The princess of the house. She never sleeps with us at night. Like when I go to bed, Milton sleeps in the bathroom in the cold corner. She doesn't have her own memory foam pillow. That is between our, our pillows heads. in the middle of the king size bed. 
where the throne of the house is. She, she doesn't sleeps, sleep on that. She sleeps sideways like this. <laughs> like You know what was funny though? The other day I was laughing because I was telling Mike, you know what? Like Milton controls you and you control me. Therefore, Milton controls everybody. Pretty much. She controls the whole house. She, she controls the whole empire. The, she's just queen. This comes down to being f crazy. Like, do you think when we press stop on the camera at the film that we don't play with the dogs and then go to bed after or talk to them or chill or... Like, if you don't know how much I love Herky and Milton, you got something <laughs> wrong going on. It's so wrong. Like, oh my god, all we do is like play with them. It's so wrong that I can't even... I can't, I can't even make one sense of I can't, logic. I, I can't. I can't this. analyze this. Okay. So s speaking of um, negative stuff, if you guys want to have a little fun, you guys can go read the other comments that this person left everywhere. You know what? I think this is a trick for us to donate the dog to milk them to her. Yeah. No. Okay. The person who whom left a comment, give me your mailing address, and I'll give you Milton. <laughs> we don't, clearly don't love Milton. And you deserve Milton. And it's gonna make Herky happy. Give me your address. Okay, Give it to me. speaking of nasty people online, so you know I launched the t shirts today, right? Mm -hmm. You guys probably saw that vlog a few days ago, but today, March, April 7th? What day is it? April 7th, I don't know the date, but today is the day we launched the t shirts. And I made a few announcements on social media and everything. And this, <laughs> look at what this person writes to me. Read it out loud. There is a pandemic. No one gives a fuck about your t-shirts. All the proceeds are for charitable causes that are helping the pandemic, you mother... This guy. <laughs> this guy. I can show his name because he has no real name. Man, people, it's discouraging. The kind of thinking that some people have. It's don't you feel like this this pandemic though is making people and dogs equally crazy? Like you see the crazy side of people coming no, out. I've always seen the crazy side of people. Way more. The dogs are <laughs> the dog side. I haven't seen as much, but people have always been crazy. No, but you see it more ever since this pandemic is going on. I know. There's just... way more stupid going on. Hello, Chateau Mahmoud Fund. Oh God, tell me about Chateau Mahmoud. Okay, so you guys know when we were in LA, I went out to lunch with Pika and Nadia. We went to Chateau Marmont in Los Angeles, which is an iconic hotel where celebrities go to shelter from paparazzis and all. And when we went, they have a strict no photo policy. And although I was able to sneak some in, and by the way, the waiter was super rude. He was so rude. He looked down on us because we wanted to order tap water. I swear. He asked us if we wanted bottled still, bottled sparkling, or municipal water. He called it municipal water, okay? This He's is, such a snob. Waiters doesn't mean that it's a bad person. They're, waiters trying to make money like anybody else. But why does he feel the need to... to but the fact that he feels that he, he could look down on people because he's a waiter at Chateau Marmont. Like, you're a waiter at Chateau Marmont. You can't look down on me for ordering water. But didn't you buy some cocktails too? I bought a whole lunch. I, had, I ordered two courses for myself. How much is a cocktail? Like $18? $18 for a cocktail, okay? So now listen to what Chateau Marmont did today. Okay, so when I went to the bathroom that day with Nadia, I went to the bathroom and Nadia stayed with the three dogs. And when she tried to take a photo of the three dogs, they immediately told her to stop. And they were like, no, 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 no photos here. No photos here. And she felt super embarrassed. Anyways, so today I went on their social media because Nadia informed me that they announced something really, really stupid. They started a GoFundMe account because their employees got laid off because of the COVID pandemic. Therefore, they're asking the public to contribute to their GoFundMe for them to pay their employees. You pay for your employees. Things are slow for us. We don't fire employees. We keep our employees because that's what, the what I care about the employees do. And the fact that you're going to charge $18 a cocktail and then have the nerves to go ask People the public has to pay for to pay your for their stuff. Employees. Get your f shit together, Chateau Marmont. Anyways, so that's that. Don't think you can judge somebody's life by a 10 minute video. That's all I'm saying. Because there's so much more. There's 24 hours in a day, and 10 minutes is not representative of one's life. We love Herky and Milton equally, and they get a lot of love.
Okay. They have way too much. I don't think there's any dog that gets more love than Hurricane Milton. My life revolves uh, around them. Actually, I don't think we need to explain this on the yeah. show. But, hey, guys, why don't you share with us some of the stuff that have been frustrating you in general Oh, my lately. God, Herky farted. Oh. And then put it in the comments below. I want to hear. So, this might seem a bit narcissistic, but... I'm getting ready to watch my Hurricane Milton. And this is the proof that I write zero of the speech bubbles because I'm getting ready to watch it for the first time and enjoy it for the first time. Like He's a true else. viewer. I have no idea what the speech bubbles are. I don't know any of the jokes. I don't know any of the shots most of the time because mine does this all by herself. Women can edit too. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Turkey, you're watching your own video? You're gonna watch your own video? Look, we're gonna watch you. What, Turkey? Are you watching yourself? So, what are your first impressions on that Q&A video from Herky and Milton? It's like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly to the T what they're thinking. Mm. Like, we know what our dogs think. You know what your dogs think. And that's exactly what they think. Mm. It was Freaking fun, funny. huh? And now they're exhausted. Now we have to wake them up to feed them and brush their teeth. Boy. Milton is so ready to pounce. So it is time for her Ken Milton's midnight feeding before bed. I'm going to smash a little bit up and feed it to them. Sit. Good girl. Don't pull away the fork from Milton. Okay, don't jump. Okay. She, she like pulls her little teeth in it. Yep. Gentle Herky. Another part of the nighttime routine is brushing teeth, and that is very important. Good Herky. Stay. Good girl. What's a good girl? This is their toothpaste. The vanilla mint flavor and they really enjoy it. So I've been I had been using a chicken flavored toothpaste while we were in LA and although it's good because it's enzymatic. I figured that something with vanilla mint actually makes their breath good. Like when we brush them with this in the morning, their breath still smells like mint. I love it. Who brushes their teeth with chicken? Milton. That makes no sense. Mmm, chicken toothpaste. Look at Milton's little demon tooth. Look at Milton's. Milton looks like a bat with her teeth. I know, I know. Almost done, baby. You're good. After this, I want to make sure to pet Milton before I go to bed. <laughs> and that you see it on camera. Because when the cameras are off, you never pet her. <laughs> Come on. Good, Milton. I'm not looking down oh, on you, Milton. I love you, Milton. I love you, Milton. Oh. That's and it, guys. Okay, wait. And a little tip. A little tip to make your dogs like brushing teeth. At the end, I always give them a little tiny lick each of toothpaste. Look, they're waiting for it. Good girls. All right, guys. Say goodbye to your friends. Say good night. Good night, Milton. You turkey. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>